I'm one of the few people who has enough scientific knowledge about the species that I can actually speak for the species. I think I know enough about their biology to know what they would say. I was a wildlife researcher in 1973 when I started on sage grouse, and I ended up in 1999 as the avian research program manager. I was responsible for the Division of Wildlife in Colorado programs on sage grouse. My name is Clay Braun, and I'm a wildlife scientist. I really focus on population dynamics and other words, changes in populations over time, understanding what makes a population go up and down. We do not know exactly how many sage grouse were here. The estimates were 10 to 12 million. By the early 1990s, things were looking pretty bleak. And so I started trying to figure out how many sage grouse were left in Colorado. And then I expanded that to see how many sage grouse were left in North America. And the number is approximately 240,000 birds. We had gone from 10 to 14 million or 12 million or whatever the high number was to 1998. There were less than a half million birds left. That wasn't popular. The states long had asked their biologists not to put an estimate on a table as to how many sage grouse they might have because they really didn't want anybody to know. Ignorance was bliss. I knew this was happening. I told my agency that it was happening. Birds actually disappeared. They became extinct right before my eyes. And I was helpless to do anything about it. I had no power to make any changes. Most state wildlife agencies are interested in maintaining the status quo, maintaining the stream of money that comes in annually to support their activities. They don't want you to learn things that will change or alter what they're doing. It could undermine the culture of the agency that we know everything about what's out there. We're doing the best job we possibly can. Everything is fine. The last five years of my career, I was really involved with sage grouse conservation plans, but I became very pessimistic about how much good that was going to do. And I felt stifled and that I couldn't really say what I knew needed to be said at that point. I'm the basic building block, and I want people to be able to read what I've learned. My present goal working with Grouse is to publish all the information that I have collected, all the data that is meaningful, that can be used by others to build the status of our knowledge upon. I don't want to fail in terms of making it possible for these species to exist. Sage grouse really represent the natural ecosystems of the West at one time. So it's a part of our heritage. I hate to see the heritage go away. I hate to see the sagebrush steppe habitat disappear. I hate to see the species disappear. If we fail to save the sage grouse and save the habitat for the sage grouse, that means we have failed as a civilization to try to maintain some naturalness out there without disturbance by man.